So I've got the new cell uh, wired up. I've checked the voltage at 3.8 volts. So it could do the charge. Um, but what's next? So we've got this to be able to charge it and we've got that to be able to feed whatever it's going to feed. Now, there's a bit of an issue here about where they're going to go. So this is going to go here like this. <coughs> so what do we need to do here? We need to go from VIN, but it's got to be switched. So this plus will be switched. So that VIN needs to go to the switch. Um, so, so what I'm going to do here, we need to, wire, we need to wire the switch next. So I'll just find, find out how this switch works. Okay, so if I press the switch on, it goes on and off it goes off. So I need to wire these two pins here. Okay, so I'll just solder these together. All right, so I'm gonna put the battery in there like that. This is gonna be glued underneath here. And uh, I'm gonna solder this up now. So we'll solder the live, uh, the live wire. So I need to cut this there. Uh, where are my snips? There we go. Let's get ready to solder this. Okay, it looks like I've got it. So that's the feed wire. Now we need uh, something called a switch wire, which is the voltage after it's been switched. So I use this wire for that. So let's go again. These wires are so close together. Okay, so we've got the switch wire. Now I need to check that I can still press the switch. Yep. Right, so this 3 volts that we've got switched now needs to go to two places. It needs to go to the thing that actually produces the 9 volts or steps it up. And it also needs to go to the uh, LEDs, which it actually doesn't need to really, but we'll do it anyway. So, so the first thing I'll do, there's the LED. Uh, 3 volts, let's just zoom out a bit actually. So that could do with going, it could actually go to the switch but it's too small for me to want to mess about with. So I'm going to trim this here. I'm going to put this and this to the V in, which will be 3.7 volt switch. So let's prepare those. I could twist these and all that. Uh, yeah, I think I will actually, just to make it a bit stronger. So, twist them together. Okay, so this is a 3.3 .3 volts, which needs to go here. VIN switched 3.3 .3 volts. Uh, sorry, 3.7 volts. And then solder this together. That's done. Got the V in. Now ground. Now, what else do we need ground for? Um, <coughs> we're not going to switch ground. Ground could go here, and all the other grounds could meet here as well. Actually, although the other ground, one ground, can meet there. But yes. Yeah, so um, I don't see why this ground can't go here. as well as this ground for the LEDs, so these can be snipped and also soldered together. So again, twist these together. These are the ground wires, twist them together. Put a bit of solder on them. Okay, and let's go again. V out, oh sorry, V in minus, V in minus. Hold these up again. Can't really see, can you? Hang on. V in minus. That's V in minus done. Let's snip these off. And there we go, that's that bit done. 
So at the moment, what have we got? Well, <coughs> we've got the battery, 3.8 volt battery, we've got a switch, and uh, it basically uses a junction, and it goes through the little LEDs. So this is going to go underneath here like this, probably glued down, super glued down. <coughs> then, that's going to go there, and that bit's done. So right now, if I was to switch this on, it should make the LEDs glow. Yeah. Um, oh, I've just noticed that big LEDs become dislodged. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, that big LEDs become dislodged, but whatever, I'll clear that in place all the time. So, uh, what are we up to next? So we've got that thing. Um, we also need to solder this up, which is the battery charger. Now we don't want to switch. We don't want to switch the thing on to charge it up. So we can either solder to this side or we can solder to here. Um, really, soldering here is better, but I really don't want to disturb that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to disturb that, and we need the minus as well. So um, yeah, so let's go again. I'm afraid. Also, you don't really want to be heating this up and letting it cool down so many times. Come on, the faster this is done, the better. Yeah, that will do. And this one, this one, solder onto the solder again, I think. Okay. So now I've got the two uh, wires there. I don't know, I best think it was like that, wasn't it? So this is so we can charge the cell up. Right. Now time to solder this, which is the charger, of course. <coughs> okay, there we go. Now, out plus. out plus and out minus so yeah we don't want to switch this because of course we want it to always charge like if it's connected it needs to always charge so out minus there we go so that thing's done so now we've got the battery we've got the switch to turn it on we've got the step up converter ready which I'll need to set to 9 volts um, <coughs> we've got the bulbs the LEDs ready we've got this thing ready to charge uh, the battery so if I just connect the micro USB I'll be able to charge this thing up now um, so next it's just this to connect and uh, set the voltage so I think I'll set the voltage next so to set the voltage oh actually that's another thing these two shouldn't be touching any of these parts shouldn't be touching so VR V out connect that and then V out minus connect that and it should say how many volts it's outputting at the moment. So I'll turn this thing on. Oh, all oh, right, okay. I must have already played with this one before. It's already set at nine volts, which is perfect. Now, if the thing wasn't set, all you do is you get a screwdriver, put the voltmeter to it, and uh, twist this until it's exactly nine volts or whatever it is, whatever voltage you want. The next thing to do is to wire up the uh, large LED here. Let's go to this. So again, I don't need full size wires. Let's go for about about that. Well, yeah, about there. Let's tin these. Oh, I've got a lot of dirt on this soldering iron. Anyway, those are tinned. So plus to the V out plus, and the minus, of course, to the V out minus. get this to hold on to it for me Just knock that rubbish off there there we go that's done I could snip those but uh, can I get to them I don't know yeah right so that's that done too now if I was to check this thing now it should work <coughs> 
Let's turn it on and this LED should glow. Yeah, there we go. So it's done. Now, if I want this thing to be brighter, I can do that, but it'll waste a bit more energy. Now, I think I will have it a little bit brighter because I can see that it's just barely on. Well, I say barely on, you know. So let's twist this a bit. Actually, I've had a good think about this, and I think I'm not going to bother drilling a hole and all that, because if it rains, I don't want water in this unit. So what I'm going to do, at least for the time being, is I've got this little thing jammed in here. Uh, I could glue that down, uh, but again, it's not a big deal if, the, if it's in there loose. Nothing's going to happen. I've got the switch, which is fine. I'll need to glue the LED in place properly, because it's not seated perfectly. But what I've decided is that I'm going to leave this loose. So what I'm going to do is just quickly take this off. You could just pull it like that. And then I'm just going to get a micro USB and put it on charge. And I'm just going to leave it like that. When it's charged, I'm going to uh, put that back in there. Uh, close it back up. Just like that. And it's good. I can put it on my bike. So I decided that I'd cut this out. Well, not cut it out, sorry. Pull it out and cut the bottom off it like that. So cut the bottom off and I've glued it down now in the three places where the screws were. I also uh, put a channel down there. And um, now as you can see, and it's kind of weird I suppose, but this battery, this cell, fits right in here. Like that. And I can actually push it right the way in. Which is kind of uncanny really. It's the exact uh, size. So... Yeah, that goes in there like that, which means that now, that's it, put the wire through there, there we go, that's better isn't it, so we've got all the wires through little channels, nothing's touching, <coughs> so we're all good, now these need to be strapped down really, but whatever, so now um, it's just a case of putting this on and checking that the switch actually works, I mean that might be too low down now, but we'll see, let's have a look. So press that in there, and press that in, uh, yeah it looks like I'll need to make it higher so let's pull this back off. Okay so I've given it its first charge, there's the uh, little charging port thing. Um, and it seems to work really well, I've actually used that on my bike as well. and. Um, there are no problems. There's a lot of white stuff in there. Now I think that's from the super glue or something. Anyway, I'll show you. So I'll just put this together. And now I'll just show you it working. And there we go. It's very bright. And um, and it's done. So that was my um, bike light conversion. And that's also very, very light. And it's much brighter as well, much brighter than what it was. And I suspect it's going to, well, I suspect it may last longer as well. I'm not too sure though. But anyway, it was a cool project. I'm glad I've done it. And I can fit it to my bike. And, um, and it's a good job. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.